Et salut! Where can you take a walk in France? Let me show you different places where you can hike and do other walking activities in France. Salut! My name is Rochelle DeMeo from Beltier Academy. While there are many different types of places you can hike in France, some of them are a little bit more commercialized and touristy, while others are more like the hole in the wall places and definitely more quaint. Let's look at different places that you can take walks in France. So you could tour around with a guide that's showing you surroundings and pointing different things out. And that may be something that you might want to do, especially if there's any kind of historical um, meaning to it or maybe something you can learn from the experience. I actually had a student who was in her 70s and her goal was to be fluent in French and walk up the Pyrene Pyrene Mountains. If you're like, what the Pyrene Mountains are, check out last week's video where I talk about different mountains and chains of mountains in France. Fast forward two years after taking my classes, she was only taking them once a week, and she became fluent in French and achieved her dream of walking up the Pyrenee Mountains with a tour guide that she spoke to only in French, believe that or not. So that may be something that you want to do is hike up the mountains, whether it's in the winter, with the proper gear, whether it's in the summer, with a tour guide, with friends, by yourself, maybe with like somebody in your family, that's one place that you might want to take a hike in France. Another place that I used to personally hike a lot in France, growing up in the south of France, is what we call the Garrigue. Garrigue has a dry vegetation and a lot of different plants that are more like in an arid climate, lavender and so forth. You smell like thyme, you smell rosemary, and the bottom is kind of a rocky mountain, but you can walk through there and just sniff all the wonderful scents and take a hike, take a walk, in the Garrigue. You can also stroll through different public gardens in France. I have a video, or even two possibly, that show you some of these public gardens, such as Les Jardins de la Fontaine. And while some may be in the city, like in Paris, they may be kind of small and just kind of take a little stroll, a little walk, some of them can be pretty intense, where you need some good shoes to climb up to the very top of this public garden in France. And then outside of villages, that's one of my favorite places to hike because there's a lot of these hidden treasures, like I like to call them through the vineyards, maybe you're going through these ruins, an old abandoned village that you're able to walk through, maybe it's by a stream or a river or lake, and you just get to discover things that you may not see. Some of these you may have like a sign and you know that it's like a randonnée area, a hike area, while other places are gonna be a little bit more hidden and you'd have to ask people that live there to point these out, which is what we did. One of our times, our friends like, you guys like to hike, you need to come out here. I'm like, I know this area like the back of my hand. He's like, not from my little village, come check this out. And it was such a cool experience. And what I like about these type of hikes is they're usually not advertised, so they are the hole in the wall places, but a lot of hikes that you see, especially in like maybe other countries or things that are more touristy, they're very well laid out and everything is, you know, exactly how many miles and this and that, but it kind of, in my opinion, doesn't give you room for adventure and just discovery. So by going to these little areas that aren't necessarily advertised, you get to explore by yourself with friends, with family, whoever you want. And then why you are on a hike, you might consider going geocaching. And my boys loved going geocaching with some of their friends in France. We were taking a hike and that was part of the adventure and they just loved what they could find. That's something that is kind of popular in French and France. Another reason for you to learn French. The geocaching is just such a fun part of the hike in itself. So as you can see from these different adventures and my own hikes and different places I've been able to walk in France, if you're not sure, I gave you some suggestions, but if you're not sure, you might just want to ask locals there. If you have a pen pal that you've been exchanging with, that's a plus. If you have French speaking friends that are there that can guide you, that's a plus. But hopefully these ideas have also helped you know where you can take little strolls, little walks, or hike in France. A bientôt les amis.